What's up, guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Nation Red. This is Mission 2. Starting fresh. Alright, leveled up. Let's see what I got. Hand of God. Strikes death from the sky to any opponents within range. That does that randomly. You don't have control over it. Stronghold. Reduces uh, improved loadout. Allows you to move at speed regardless of the weight of the weapons you carry. That's a good one. Seekers. Release two automatic seekers. They find, they kill. That's a, that's another one, kind of like Hand of God. It, it uh, attacks randomly, ever so often. More pain, more gain. When your health is under 50%, receive 25 more XP, but also 25% more damage. That's a double-edged sword skill. It's not very good. Well, it's probably really good for the pros, but there's no way I'd ever be able to use it. Pneumatic destroyer. Combines with the rammer pickup to explode the rammer. Basically, when you use a rammer, after it's used up, it'll explode. It's pretty good. Alright. The choose is going to be between improved loadout or stronghold. Or, uh, no. No, it's basically improved loadout all the way. Even though I don't... Alright, that's a turbine. This pushes enemies back in, like, a radius of that, pretty much. Ooh, the steam hammer. Yeah. Alright, leveled up. Stronghold heavy iron. 50% more damage from any of your melee weapons. I'm never going to use melee, so that, that's completely useless. Reflex boost. All your attacks and movements will be faster. That's a good one. Luck. We already went over that one. Weapon station. Upgrades the sentry gun to an FLW remote weapon station. Now, I have no idea what that does. I think it just means it makes the sentry more powerful. I think that's what it means. Let's see. Okay, yeah. It's either luck or weapon station. Mm. I'll go with luck again. I like luck. Alright, let's see. I guess I'll show you a little bit of melee. Oh, well. That was short-lived. Alright, I got the nail gun now. This is a pretty good weapon. Mid-tier, uh... Mid-tier automatic. Mono a mono. Take 30% less damage from bosses, but other zombies will hurt you 10% more. And that's another double-edged sword, but it's it's not that dangerous until the later levels, trust me. That's that's probably useful in the other modes, but not in mission mode. Uh, it may not be. All right, propane nightmare. Gas canisters... Gas canister explosions set fire to zombies outside the lethal range. So when you shoot a gas canister, if there's a zombie within the blast radius, but they're not on top of the lethal range, they'll be set on fire instead of just take damage. So they'll take more damage. Let's see, uh, reflex boost. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to pick. Yeah, that's much better. I can move a little bit faster. Alright, that's a shield. And you can see in the top left how the power-ups count down. Alright, now this is bullet time. Basically, everything moves in slow motion except me. Alright. Now, let me go over something really quick. Each character has... Each, char each character class, perk, whatever. Each character has their own unique two weapons that they're better with than others. The sniper has the sniper the sniper rifle and I think the MP5 uh, I think that's what it is. The soldier, which is the guy I have, he has the weapon that he has currently equipped. I don't know the name of it exactly. It starts with an M. It's a it's kind of like an M60 and an AA12. Now you may have heard of the AA12 from Killing Floor, which is the support specialist's quote quote most powerful weapon but uh, that's the automatic shotgun basically they and let's see the medic class no he can't heal the medic class his weapons of choice are the Glock and the M14 carbine I believe and the last guy the scout is the fast he's the fastest he's the fast guy um his, his weapons are the AK-47 and the Super Shorty, I believe. Basically, a, sh a, sh a really, really retarded shotgun. But, uh, yeah. 
and if you ever want to keep a weapon like no matter what depending on what you pick you can lock it so you'll never ever lose that weapon again as long as you have it locked so you can't accidentally lose a weapon that you want to keep All right, let's, let's see turret defense increases the chance of a sentry power drop power up drop apparition doubles the chance of a ghost power up appearing heavy sentries increases damage done by sentries and NPC soldiers by 25 percent power up extender extends the time of any power up by 25 percent now this is a really really hard choice because there's so many good, good, so many, there's like five good choices. Let's see, let's see what we have so far. We have improved loadout, luck, and reflex boost. So that's basically, uh, I'm moving really fast and the drops are more apparent. Alright, let's see, Wh which do I want? Turret defense, drop, or doubles the chance of a ghost power up appearing. I'll do that. Oh shit. Let's see if I can get a ghost power up going. There's the M79 grenade launcher. That's from Killer 4 as well. Hmm, I got an achievement. I don't know what that is. There's a rammer. It's a cloak. Let me go ahead and reload while I'm cloaked. I'll switch to another weapon. Alright, here's the jackhammer. Oh, wait, you guys have already seen this weapon. Well, alright then. I didn't get hurt, apparently. Alright, that's the second mission. Let's see. I'm in 43. Unpicked perk. Ugh. Well, accuracy doesn't really mean anything on this game, since you can't really aim for body parts or anything like that. Alright, guys. I'll try to get some more weapons on the next mission. These missions are pretty short. The next one's the hard one, though. That's when it starts getting hard. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next video.